Hello. Make sure to grab your notebook and your pen as well. Now let's take some notes. Sit down, put on your headset or earbuds, and enjoy the video. What's going on guys, Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another video and today's video I'm going to be talking about is how to have the best shot in Black Ops 3. Now a lot of you guys know I made a video about a couple months ago talking about how to prove your aim on Black Ops 3. Whoa! In today's video, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth and talk about some other things. So first off, a really good tip to do is start up Fringe. Fringe is a big map. You get to put on a lot of bots. You get a lot of interaction. You want to put the edit game rules, time limit, unlimited, score limit, unlimited. Then you want to go down to health, put health 200%. Yes, you heard me right, 200%. That way, it's harder to kill people. It takes longer, so you're shooting at someone for a longer period of time. Then, of course, you want to put some bots. I would aim for 13, 14, nothing higher than that. Then put it at Harden. Veteran could be a little bit too difficult. You know, these bots like to go hard as fucking veteran. They'll no-scope your ass across the map. Put on Harden. It's a little bit more difficult. You know, they shoot back, kind of. And then let's start it up, baby. Okay, guys, before we start this video, I'm going to be talking about sensitivity really quick, about sub players and NAR players. So if you are a sub player, I really recommend you play on 5 for sensitivity. Don't play it really any higher than that or lower than that. It just, it's a really good sensitivity to play on. You're fast enough, and you can have a good shot. Some people even like to play on 4 horizontal, 5 vertical. I just like playing 5-5. Five five. I don't really like playing with that. I think I have a really good shot, so there's no need for me to change it. Now, if you are an AR player, I'll definitely recommend you play 3-4 to four sensitivity because you are going to be fighting people who have a really steady shot because that's what they're going to be playing on i could play it with an ar on five but i don't know i can control it really well i have a really good shot a lot of you guys watch me play so i would really recommend if you're like a, a main ar play three four sensitivity you know three three or four i think four is probably better just because it's a little bit faster i don't i don't know i can't stand slow sensitivities okay guys now what i'm gonna give you guys is a very very big tip and i really want you to pay attention you know turn up your headphones and just listen to what I'm going to say because it's going to be a little difficult to understand. But it's going to be hard to explain a little bit as well. So when aiming at someone, you never want to really use your right stick to only aim in. You want to use both sticks. I mean, a lot of you guys probably know that already. But you never want to, you know, use only your right stick to try to kill someone. I think that's why some people's shot aren't that good. That's why some of their shots suck and they can't aim well. Because you want to use both sticks. You want to kind of use your left stick. Like, this is the best way to interpret it. You want to use your left stick to center on someone and, and get get your crosshairs on the middle of their body and then you want to use your right stick to aim in clean up the kill you know if you gotta you gotta aim a little bit more to the right a little bit more to the left wherever he's moving and then on top of that for you to control the recoil that's kind of what both sticks and what is it this guy trying to do a trick shot or something what the f so pretty much you want to strafe into their body so that way you can shoot them and you can center your your gun very easily that's the best way to explain it i hope you guys understood that but it's a very good tip you know, you never want to just use one thumbstick or one at a time when aiming or try to kill someone. You want to always use two. Like, both of them are your best friends. You're going to be able also to dodge bullets sometimes, and it's going to help you stay alive and get a kill. Now, this next tip pretty much goes with that tip. It's talking about strafing. Now, you don't necessarily need to have stock on to do this. I, I mean, it's easier to strafe with that, obviously. Now, for the people who probably hate played Halo before, strafing is really big in that game. Strafing, it's you move pretty fast. You know, decent speed. You can strafe left to right and make people miss their bullets. And even if they're still hitting a couple bullets, they're going to be missing a couple. Like, from a burst. Let's say the M8. You know, you shoot a burst, four bullets come out. Maybe they hit you with two bullets, but you strafe and miss, and they miss the other two bullets. So now they got to put two or three more bullets inside of you. And the reason this is going to help you with your shot, because people are wondering, like, what's that going to help me with my shot? It's probably going to help me with some gunfights. Well, the reason it's going to help, it kind of pertains to the first tip I gave you guys. What you want to do is always strafe your body and center your aimer in your crosshairs on their body. And that's why strafing is so helpful because you get to do that and it just helps you get those kills. Another tip is you want to control the recoil. Obviously, controlling the recoil can be a little bit hard at times. And a good way to do that is make sure you strap on grip. But even then, you just want to know the pattern. So when you use a gun, obviously, the recoil is going to be a little bit random. But while you're aiming in, you want to try your best to control it. You know, if it's going down, you want to move it up and kind of like put your thumbstick up. And the more you control the recoil, the better your shot's going to be because obviously you're going to hit more shots. Now, certain guns have different recoil. Now, different guns have different recoil. As for example, the VMP kind of goes a little bit up and left to the right. So obviously when you're using the VMP, you got to hold down a little bit while you're aiming in. That way it still stays in kind of in the center. And you just control it, try to control it on their body. So that way you're barely witnessing any recoil. Now, obviously, this takes practice. That's why I really recommend you guys playing a game of bots with 200 health because you get to practice a lot like that. Now, for guns like the M8, which has almost no recoil, the Shiva, stuff like that, you don't have to worry too much about recoil for that, only for the guns that do have recoil. But even then, when someone's shooting at you, your gun usually jumps. It's called recoil. You have a pretty big flinch in this game. It's just a built-in flinch. 
So therefore, you do flinch when someone shoots you. It's, there's no, there's no like toughness where you barely flinch or anything like that. Even though the flinch is not that strong. So what you want to do is usually when someone shoots you, you want to kind of aim for their chest always. You never want to obviously aim for the head when you're shooting someone unless you're like in a head glitch. You want to aim for like the chest or stomach. And even if they were to shoot you, your, your gun will jump up to their kind of their head and you will headshot them or at least you will still be hitting them. And the last thing before I go, a problem with a lot of players, like uh, players I see that don't have a good shot, is they, they don't use both sticks. What I said the first for the first tip ever, the first big tip I gave you guys, they only like to use one stick. They see someone, they stop, or they, they try to aim in and try to use their only right stick. But the thing that makes players elite is you gotta move, you gotta strafe. If you strafe and center them, like you say, sense you strafe and center your crosshairs on them, it's gonna get them every time. And people need to start doing that more, uh, especially if you're like kind of a beginner player or you're kind of trying to get a better shot. That's such a huge thing when it comes to having a better shot. You have to strafe left, right, left, right. Aim your crosshairs, try to center your crosshairs on them. There he is. And then you can still strafe after that, and it's good because it makes them miss bullets. Also, listen, man, you need to have confidence in your shot. If you're backing out mid gunfight, if you if you're not confident when you're aiming at someone, you know you're gonna it's gonna cost you sometimes. It's gonna make you miss some bullets. It's gonna make you it's gonna fuck you up. So what you really want to do is, on top of having confidence mid gunfight, you need to practice. If you think your shot isn't that good, if you think you're you're not elite yet, you know we all start somewhere. Where where at one point in the game, you know our shots weren't that good. But what I really recommend is just doing this, playing a game of bots once a night or once every morning or once before you play or practice or whatever you're going to do. You know, you put the bots at 200 health, put them on Harden, and just go and just shoot shoot them. Try to hit all your shots, and slowly over time, you're going to start seeing you're snapping on people. You're going to start seeing that you're actually hitting more shots and you're more accurate. And the end of the day, the whole point of this game, at any first-person shooter or any shooter realistically, is centering. You always want to center on your opponent. No matter where they are, you gotta obviously that takes a little bit of practice. You know, if you're a beginner, if you're not too used to centering, it's gonna take you some time to start centering on your opponent. But like, for example, walking around corners, you wanna have the, the shot, your aimer always centered to where you think they're gonna be. If I'm walking around this corner, I'm gonna center here because this is where their body's gonna be. I'm gonna center here because they're gonna probably be in the head glitch or they're gonna be coming to the right side. And then I'm gonna center here because they could be they're just gonna be walking in front of me and this is where their body height is. You always wanna center around the map. And that's gonna help you snap on people easier. And that takes a little bit of practice. For example, you, you for example, you see some guy top grandmas. Like for somebody to snap on them, it's gonna take if you're like kind of a beginner, if your shot isn't that good, it's gonna be a little bit hard. Either way, guys, I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to do what I said, you know, just practice with these bots, center, you know, strafe, do all those good things. Really intake what I told you guys because I'm not even bullshitting. I think I have one of the best shots in the game right now. I think I've always had a really good shot. That's just the type of player I am. And, you know, I use these tips. I do these things. So I'm trying to share with you guys, you know, help you get better. Especially to refer to people who struggle and don't have a good shot and are trying to get better. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your boy Apti. Have a good day and I'm out. Peace.